Hello my friends, my name is Lazyjet and today we're playing Microsoft Train Simulator. I do apologise for the way this video looks because in the game uh, I cannot have the resolution the way I want it. So this is, because this is a very old game. So, so today we are actually driving the Flying Scotsman. Oh my god, this brings back so much memories. Look at this. Let's press F4 to get rid of the mappy thing. Oh, uh, but look how weird this looks. I mean, I'm actually playing this on my big, massive monitor, and it's just in full screen, and it, just, it looks really weird. But this also looks like quite amazing at the same time. I mean, it's been so long since I've been played this game. I'm just, oh my gosh. Look how terrible the wheels look, and this nameplate, and the number, 4472, and the tender. <gasps> look at the tender, LNER. Look, that's the blurriest thing in the universe. But you've got the LNER, I think they're called Teak Coaches, I think. I'm not an LNER expert, but I think, well, these aren't. Um, these are LMS coaches. Wow. So, oh, I forgot how to drive this thing. And the graphics for an old game looks good. But for today's graphics, they look pretty terrible. I want to do a quick comparison quick. So let's have a look at this Scotsman for a second. So I'm going to get it in a good shot if I can. So, God, this is very hard to do. So let's have a quick look at this Scotsman. And let's have a look at the Scotsman in Dovetail Games Train Simulator. So switch in three, two, one. There we go. Back to Train Simulator, the way I like it. And we're driving Flying Scotsman with the same, exact same coaches, the uh, LNER Teak coaches, I think they're called, on the exact same route. This is actually the very same route. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, settled Carlisle, I think. And right now, I think we're in Carlisle. But this is the exact same route, so we're in the same siding. So <laughs> it's actually quite weird to see this Flying Scotsman and the other one. In fact, let's go back to the other Flying Scotsman right now, shall we? And we're back on Microsoft Train Simulator. Oh, look at the. It's so bad! The graphics are so bad! Anyway, let's get moving. Um, go inside the cab. I forgot. I don't know what any of the controls are, so I'm just going to do it manually. So, reverser. Oh, it's a bit glitchy. Why is it? Why is it not working? Reverser. Uh, doesn't want to work. There's an issue. Nothing works. I might have to change. I have to, might have to go back to the settings because I think there's something wrong with the controls in the settings. Oh, I remember this. Look at all this. Oh, so many memories. So let's go to uh, keyboard. So we restore to default. I think. I think that's it. I think it's this simple control. So I think if we turn that off. I think that might have been the problem. Okay, take three, I think. Aha! I did it! I fixed it! I fixed Oliver! Well done! <laughs> okay, uh, train brake applied. Um, we need to release that. I'm doing it by the hand now. Um, this is really, this is really weird. It's so weird to be playing this game once again. Right, and now we need the regulator up to, let's put it 100, see if it works. Oh, we're moving! Oh, let's get rid of the smoky thing. I don't like the smoke. Oh, we're moving. Blow the whistle again. This is this is so weird, but cool at the same time. This is just beyond creepy. Oh my god, look at the cab! Look at the cab! There is no cab! Oh, <laughs> there's no seats! There's no seats in the cab! Oh my gosh, this is amazing, but... Oh, the sound effect for the coaches. Oh, I hope you guys heard that, because... Oh, <laughs> This is so weird to be playing this again. Just so many, so many good memories, but also a lot of bad ones for this game. But the puffing sound effects is amazing. I mean, yes, they sound incredibly terrible because they're default. But I think it's amazing. And look, look how pixelated everything is. This is so weird by looking at Scotsman's wheels, its nameplate, its number, the whistle. I mean, this is Flying Scotsman when it had um, a single chip. Look at the chimney! Look at the chimney! It's not even a circle. I think it's some sort of... I think it's a pentagon? Or uh, hexagon? What shape is that? It's like a... I don't know my shape. It's either a pentagon or a hexagon. One of those. But that's what the chimney looks like. That's the shape of it. I, I don't know why, but the corridor tender looks too wide for Scotsman. I don't know. I, I've always just had that feeling. It just looks too wide. So let's go back in the cab. We're doing about, well, technically we're doing 60 miles per hour. Can we see if we can try and go faster? Hopefully we can try and get to 100 in this thing. You don't ever know. How do I look outside? Oh, ah, oh my god, oh my god. There we go. 
Go look outside. Yeah. There's no. There's no, There's not much scenery though, is there? Oh, we're, oh, we're at a station. Hello, station. Can we go back to the engine? There we go. I think I'm on the wrong side of the track. Yeah, I am. Oh look, I forgot. There's no. There's no. Um. What's it called? G-force in this game. So. Oh, this is so so I can't derail. <laughs> I can't derail in your face train simulator by Dovetail Games. I can't derail now. But no, I do love the G-Force in Train Simulator. It gives it more realism. But this this is just beyond. This is a, a really creepy game. Do you know while we're on the move, I might actually um, do a quick comparison again to see what the other Scotsman looks like. So we're going to switch to Dovetail Games now and see what that Scotsman looks like. So a quick switch. There we go. Oh, it's so different and weird to see two different kind of train simulators. One from the past and one from the present. So, it is kind of weird to sort of see the differences of how much of technology and detail in games have gotten. So, I guess that's kind of why I should be grateful of why I love today's train simulator. So, I guess I'm just lucky. Right, back to Microsoft Train Simulator, because uh, that's what this, this video is all about. Prepare your eyes, because uh, the pixelation's quite bad. There we go, we're back again. It's just, it's just so much to take in of how... It's been years since the last time I've played this game, and... To be honest, I think this will, this will probably be the last time I'm ever going to be playing Microsoft Train Simulator ever again. So enjoy it while it lasts, because I'm, ne I'm never playing this ever again. It's just... It's so bad. But no, I've got to give it credit. I mean, back in the day when this first came out, this was like the best simulator that I've ever played. I mean, I was... How old was I? I was probably about... Oh, blimey. I think I was like three, four, five years old when I was playing this game. I've been playing Train Simulator since I was five years old. Okay, I'm not actually going to stop Flying Scotsman. So, um, put the regulator off. And I'm... Um, oh, it's this train. That's the train brake. Um, released. Okay, now I'm applying the train brake. There we go. I think I am. Applying brake. Here we go. Applying. I think we should start slowing down now, hopefully. Oh, we're slowing down quite fast. I'm, I'm not... I'm actually going to nail this in the station. Am I gonna actually going to do it? Can I stop at the station properly? Don't think I can. Go, release the train brake. Can I actually stop this train? For, for, for so long, can I actually stop at a station properly on this game? Come on, apply the try apply. Just a little bit. Come on, Oliver, you can do this. It's been, it's been a long time. Oh no, I've overshot. Apply the brakes, apply, apply. Stop. Come on. Oh my god, have I done it? Have I done it? Let me have a look. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah! For so long, I've actually nailed it! I've still got it! Stop that station perfectly first time! That's amazing! <laughs> yes! Well, my friends, this has been weird but fun at the same time. I've, in I've actually enjoyed playing this once again, but... Thankfully, this will be the last time I've ever played in this game. So, uh, do not give me any suggestions of what I should drive next on this game, because I'm not going to be doing it, because... It's just not my thing. But it's a cool video idea. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. All links are in the description. But thank you again so much for watching, my friends. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Bow. <laughs>